Nityanam guys, welcoming you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shri Nityananda Paramashivam. Today I have a nice video, uh, something I wanted to share for some time, but for uh, and it's basically about how you cannot add anger into somebody. You cannot increase the jealousy of someone. You cannot increase the envy of someone. You cannot increase the frustration in someone. You cannot increase the bliss of someone. Um, so this is basically what I realized. Swamiji was saying, everything that can be added onto you is not you. Anything that can be removed from you is not you. What I realized is, and he says that we are Paramashiva, Paramashivoham. We are responsible for everything that happens inside and outside. We create the reality we experience. Now, how, what I realized is that, for instance, you decide you don't want to respond to people in a certain way because you're afraid that you're going to make them jealous or angry or envious, whatever. That is a very wrong cognition. Why? And it's a life negative cognition. First, because you restrict yourself, you restrict your expression using an understanding which is incomplete, which is not right, which is not truth. You cannot make somebody angry. You cannot make somebody jealous. You can awaken the anger which is sitting in the inner space waiting for arising. You can awaken the jealousy which is sitting in the inner space of the being waiting for a reason to express itself. You cannot create something. You can awaken it. If they have it, it can come forward. If they don't have it, it cannot come forward. So it is so important to understand that because it makes us realize and cognize that we are responsible for everything that is happening in our inner space. And there's no such thing as, oh, if I do this, people will get jealous. If I do that, people will get angry. No, people are already angry and jealous. It is just sitting inside of them. Right now, it is not manifesting because they, are, they don't have a situation to justify it manifesting. And if you respond to them in that way, then they will use that as a justification to manifest that jealousy or that anger. But it is not you adding anger or jealousy. They are manifesting anger and jealousy because that is what they feel what they should do with their life is manifesting these energies within them and 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 then they use it towards you so it's not about restricting yourself from that this understanding that we we add something or that we can add anger or jealousy into people is wrong you can't it is manifested by the consciousness which is sitting there of course in the space of paramashivam it's different when you realize your consciousness their consciousness then you can play because it you become in oneness but like Swamiji says, in that space, um, enlightened beings don't play because that is the ethic of enlightenment. They respect the will of the, uh, of the being. Uh, so if the being is not willing, then they won't interfere. They can because they have the power, but they won't interfere because they respect the will of each being. So, so that's, that's what I wanted to share. Don't justify you not responding to life in a certain way because you feel you're going to make people angry and jealous. See, people, are, they will be angry, they are angry and they are jealous. Um, what we need to do is to help them so that they get access to the science of completion and they realize that they should not, they should stop generating this kind of energy, anger, jealousy and whatever, envy and everything, everything else, sadness, depression. Um, they should be taught, educated with the principles of Sanatana Hindu Dharma because that's what Hinduism does. Hinduism is all about sharing this knowledge and allowing people to complete with all these low frequency energies and emotions. And so when we should not stop ourselves from existing because of that, but um, we should always hold a space to see how we can educate, how we can share and how we can make them uh, realize and uh, remember basically the truth and how it can help them to um, to stop generating the suffering that they generate in their own lives. So that's what I wanted to share in this video. So 
everybody is responsible for what is happening. If you don't see it, it's not that it's not there. It might just be sitting inside the inner space of the person waiting for a reason to come out. So yes. So with this, if you have any questions, put it in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I upload every day. Um, so yeah, look for content on a daily basis. And uh, check the description below. A, nice of, a lot of nice links. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.